What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with our next Theorycraft video. And uh, this one it's just gonna be me explaining why I love this game, why I hate this game, uh, why it's probably the best game of its type out there. Uh, maybe ever. Maybe, maybe there might not ever be an improvement on this game, at least as in the state it's in at the moment. Uh, let me explain. There's never been a game of this type that so many people can play. You have a range from an eight-year-old that plays it, that picks it up when they're, you know, for five minutes at a time, that enjoys it, that can do a few, maybe a single-player map, maybe do a few farming things. Hey, to them, they're upgrading their base. It's fun. They love it. Uh, all the way up to to the top tier rating or the top tier pushers that are playing at an extremely high uh, strategical uh, level and the most minor it, it's it's infuriating when it goes wrong because the time the tiniest of mistakes you guys have seen me do it on the channel you have seen little things that it's like oh my god if you could just do it again you know you could get the three star okay you know it you, that base i could wreck that base but you made a, you made a minor mistake and it had a ripple effect that affected your entire raid and it turned possibly a three star into a one star or a no star it's just such a it's such a technical thing that it's it's beautiful because it it's the only comparison I really know of is is like a like golf. I don't know how many of you guys out there play golf, uh, but when you hit the ball, when you that one swing where it's just everything goes right and you hit the ball perfectly, you don't even feel the ball, and it's it's such a it's such a good feeling. You get that you want it again. It's almost like a drug. You, you get that feeling, and you, man, you want to do it again. But then you turn around and the very next swing, you shake it off the hosel. And you're you're in the woods looking for your ball. That's Clash of Clans. That's when you when the raid goes right and everything goes to plan. It's almost like God. This is so easy. This is this is I'm the man. And you get that feeling like I'm the. It's because we love the game. You get that feeling like you're proud of yourself, and and you should be because you didn't you wrecked an awesome you know a base that that's a tough base and you just everything went right, and that feeling is what we're after of 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 everything going right but if it was easy if if it wasn't so simple for things to go wrong then that feeling would no longer be there if that makes sense if if it was easy to where you could you could wreck every base you figured out a loophole or there was an army composition that nothing could stop then that would no longer give you that feeling because it's too it's too easy to get uh, that's the beauty of this game that's the balance that exist at least in the state it's in now and that's what makes it uh, in my opinion the best game of its type ever that there's ever been uh, possibly that there ever will be uh, you just I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about because everybody makes mistakes and if, if you are under the impression that there's a level of player that plays straight up that plays it fair that doesn't have bad raids that doesn't go through slumps that uh, that doesn't make mistakes. Uh, they're just knocking out three stars like nothing. You're you're kidding yourself because the the very best make mistakes. I am I am surrounded by a bunch of beast raiders. I get to watch them raid war in war out. I get to bring their awesome raids to you guys. But there's not a single person in my clan that would claim they don't screw up. In fact, if you ask most of them, they'd probably tell you they suck. Uh, right now, I feel like I suck. It's the reason one of the reasons I'm making these videos because I'm I'm in a slump and that's just it's like man I can see the attack I can see what needs to happen how it needs to go and for some freaking reason right now it's not going that way and it's so frustrating and then I know what'll happen you'll you'll the, the right attack will come along and you'll get that feeling again because everything went right and it's awesome and you're like I'm the man and you you want to do it again. Uh, and it's gonna it's gonna be one of those things that goes up and down. It's a flow uh, Not just people in my in my clan. I've talked to people in top top war clans that Trust me. It's the same thing there. 
They go through slumps. They go through phases. Uh, they go. They have bad attacks. Stuff just goes wrong. Uh, they something's not where they expected it. It throws their whole attack off. So that's that's universal. But it's also it's also again what makes this game beautiful and what makes it fun to continue. I mean, I had a guy in the in the channel the other day that said something about that uh, he thought I was already getting repetitive, the, the videos that I put out for you guys. And maybe I am. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about that, that comment. What I'm saying is it's the reason the game doesn't get repetitive is because of this factor. It's because of how little, a little adjustment. Had I dropped uh, you know, uh, this troop here as opposed to here, or had I came in from this side uh, as opposed to the side I came in from, it's those minute little tiny micro adjustments that mean all the difference in the world at least when you're playing at a high level now the lower the level you go the lower down the, the pay grade i guess the you're attacking easier bases lower level bases the margin of error uh where you can make mistakes gets much wider you can you can screw up and still and still pull out the three star but if you're talking about you know uh, close to max Town Hall 9s, if you're talking about Town Hall 10s especially, my God, I feel sorry for you guys. Uh, the, the smallest of mistakes on a Town Hall 10 raid can just absolutely screw your raid. Uh, it's, it's just such a, it's such a game of inches. It's such a game of uh, minor tweaks and, and your plan not being able to have any flaws in it. And if you do, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just... It's heartbreaking. Uh, you you don't want to. You feel like you let yourself down. Your your clan mates down. You know when I when I screw up on a raid, it's not just because I want to do. I mean, obviously, I do want to do good for me. I, I want to be proud of my raid and be like, damn, yeah, that, that was pretty beast. But it's it's more than that. It's it's my clan mates. I know that you know there's a level of expectation there from them to out of me. They they expect so much out of me, and I want to live up to that. Uh, not that they're upset if I screw up. I mean, hell, everybody, that's what we're talking about here. But it's it's pressure put on myself by myself, and I think you guys are probably the same way. Uh, you, if if you're in a war clan, you know what I'm talking about. But again, it's it's a love hate. It's 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 what's great and it's what's awful. It's it's the it's both. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too confusing. This is more or less a video for me to vent uh, some of my frustrations that I'm having right now. Uh, but hopefully I get out of my slump, get back on track soon. Uh, we'll have a war recap for you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoy that. Until then, Jake from One Hot, doing my best to suck less.